Viewers and subscribers, who remember when dancehall artist Vibes Cartel said this? I think you know what the promoter can on go one man campaign, you know, because it's a hefty sum. The wait is over. Vibes Cartel confirmed today that the date for the show in December will be the 31st yes people the 31st of december ma do a video a couple hours ago and ma show the people them the alleged price vibes cartel i get paid the alleged price is 4 million us that is over 600 million jamaican dollars vibes cartel a smile under the kerchief right now you know what smile mean heading to the bank People, me I go show another video with Vibes Cartel signing his contract with Joe Bogdanovich. Yo, Joe, make me tell you I'm a girl. Yo, Joe, make me tell you I'm a girl. If you're a promoter that keeping an event that night, I think you should cancel. Yeah, trust me. If you're a promoter keeping your event that night, I think you should cancel. People come like Vibes Cartel predicted the future. Come here tell us right about now if you plan to keep an event that night, you hear the world boss and make you know say yo, cancel that event there because all the road lead to Vibes Cartel concert. People, my anticipate this is gonna be one of the biggest concerts. People are plan and I talk about this show before even Vibes Cartel get released. So people just imagine the crowd with Vibes Cartel go pull at this event and remember a Joe Bogdanovich a make this one possible a Joe Bogdanovich a go pull off this one Vibes Cartel make it clear it's a hefty sum nobody feel a monkey money to get Vibes Cartel on that stage so people what you think about this? What you think about Vibes Cartel dropping his first concert on December the 31st? And people, not only that, Vibes Cartel asking his fans for some help. The man want a name for the show. So listen what Vibes Cartel have to say and leave in the comment section what you think Vibes Cartel should name the show so we can send it across and the teacher can see it. Guys and nation, you know some day a while ago I drive with my fiance. We're pretty like Beyonce. Okay. I scatter call me. And I said, teacher, I want a name for the show. And I say, eh, you know, so where I get the fans them involved, because that problem is easier to solve. So, I link up right now, Gaza Nation, and I say to you, say, me, Scatter, and Joe, we need a name for the December show. So just put an idea in the comments below. Do? Oh. Viewers, right about now, I go switch over the ball game to a bit of rap news. YSL Woody explain in court why he end up snitching on Young Tug. People, that youth is one of the funniest witness me ever see. The man have the courtroom in a circles. The man just a play with everybody head in a the courtroom. The man can't say a proper statement without contradicting himself. People, me I got a video with wireless Woody. I only can pre what the G have to say. So right here, the man basically a explain why him snitch on popular rapper Young Tug. Okay, so this will help me. Okay. The police kept locking me up for whatever they could. Every time I can't do it, the police was on me. And they keep bringing up third name. So what I did was to get them off of me, I said, third did this, third did that, third did, because I knew they would never, I knew he didn't do it. And they, I, in my mind, I knew that the police would never go mess with him. So it was easy for me to try to throw the blame off on him to get them off of me. And that's what I was doing from all these years i don't remember what i don't told them in the past but my whole motive was to did it because i knew he didn't do it and they couldn't lock him up and they keep talking about it, duh, 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 duh. so guess what i'm gonna tell them yeah 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 what, what else you want me to tell them yeah he killed his first yeah he did that that's what i that's what i'm gonna do and that's right now if you tell if i walk out this thing and, and, and they say 
they police stopped me now. Hey man, give me some about the shit. I'm about to make some up about him again. On January 11, 2015, when you went to speak to the police, when they called you, did they ask you about Thug or did they ask you about the murder of Donovan Thomas? I don't know. I don't. Re I don't remember. Did you go down to the police department on your own to tell them that you did not kill Donovan Thomas? Uh, did I go on my own? Did you walk into the police department by yourself to tell them on the morning of January 11, 2015, that you did not kill Donovan Thomas? I don't recall. So people, I one of the funniest trial this me see in history. If you sit down and watch this trial, you're half dead with laugh. Yo, you hear the man talk? The man just funny overall. The people him have it for same snitch and young thug. But you hear the GM make it clear why him do it. The man has said the police them are pressure him every minute. And him not really snitch, you know. But him has said him just make up a bag of story about young thug. Because them know them not go find no evidence. Because young thug never do it. So it's kind of snitching, but not snitching. Because if you look at it this way, him kind of sink him friend. While him think he might try to save him friend. So viewers, what you think in the comment section about this? Cayman6 posted this picture on his Instagram. Basically, Cayman6 a show off his girlfriend with the caption, only you. And viewers, from the first time Cayman6 post couple picture and couple video, I did for build a video about it. Why? I did for build a video and ask the people them, do you think this is a right move from Cayman6 to be Posting your catty on the internet. Remember, say when the apps can't get you, you know, them get somebody close to you. They might not get you, but them can get somebody close to you. And that probably hurt you than even when them get you. So, people, leave it in the comment section. Do you think Cayman 6 is making the right move by posting his woman on his Instagram? You yeah, have some of the people they must say, yo, BG, nothing wrong with that. But you have to understand say, this is a very dangerous move. When people can get to you, them get to somebody you love. Even when them can get to you, them get to somebody you love first just to watch you suffer, just to watch you feel pain. So viewers, as I say from the first first time, Messi came and six post couple video and couple picture with him and him woman. I say yo, I the wrong move this in a K man. Who to judge? I'm not God. So I can't tell K man six what to do. So right about now people, I want to hear what you think about this. 